Hello again, it's Tubal Kane, and I'm standing at the tailstock of my 12 inch Atlas Craftsman lathe and I wanted to show you today some of the uh, different types of chucks that can be uh, used into, in the tailstock and this is a number two more staper in here and most commonly uh, used of course is just a uh, Jacobs chuck and uh, this is a uh, 3 8 capacity so that's kind of a nice compact one to use when you're using uh, doing smaller work. Uh, when you get into uh, larger size uh, drills, then you got to use a little bit bigger one, and this is a uh, half inch capacity, and this happens to be a Supreme brand rather than a Jacobs. I do prefer the Jacobs. Now another type is, uh, this is made by uh, Jacobs, or it is a Jacobs chuck, but I think it was made for them by somebody else because the name on here is Portomatic. But this is a uh, type of chuck that does not, it's keyless. So you can uh, tighten it and it gets quite tight without using a key. And it is similar to an Albrecht. This is an Albrecht, however this fits on my milling machine, but Albrecht uh, chucks are made in Germany and they also are keyless. And uh, you will need to take a second mortgage out on your house to buy one of these. So probably don't even think about it but I did want to show it to you and uh, but it, it, that's a keyless chuck. This chuck has been shown in many of my other videos. This is a brass jawed Jacobs chuck that is sometimes called an armature chuck and what I like about this one is that you can hold uh, it's made to hold armatures when you turn them down and I have a video that shows how that's done if you haven't ever watched that but you can hold a piece of work that does not have a center hole uh, with this because the jaws are brass and you just oil it and you snug it around the work so that's uh, I don't know if they make these anymore so you have to buy a used one on eBay but try to get one in good condition and finally I'm going to show you a little attachment here and I never have used this but I swear that I'm going to someday. This is a little turret, tailstock turret. And uh, where each one of these temporary plugs is, a uh, different tool could be mounted and typically you'd put a, uh, a center drill in one and then you might put a, a, a pilot hole drill in another one and maybe a reamer in another one and whatever tools are, uh, are needed for an operation. This would be set up for repeat work or production work but uh, you can move it from one tool to another by this little thumb deal here and you just rotate it to the next tool. You hear it click in. When you're done with that operation, feeding it in, drilling, reaming, whatever you're doing or it could be a, a tap with a, a tapping attachment on there for threading and then you would move it to the next one. And I don't know who made this, but I've had this for many years, and uh, someday I'm going to set it up when I get a, a job that i got to do that's going to take uh, a lot of different op operations, and I'm going to make a lot of different parts. So, Okay, in a moment I'll meet you over at the closing lathe to show you a few attachments over there. Okay, now I'm over at my closing 12-inch lathe at the tailstock here. This is my favorite lathe because it's uh, so heavy duty, but uh, we're going to... Uh, th these are uh, pretty much a repeat of what I just showed you on the Atlas, but there's a standard uh, Jacobs Chuck half-inch capacity with a number three. Now I want to show you something that uh, you should not do, and that, that would be the chuck that I use the most. And by the way, on the, the closing lathe, uh, the tang here uh, has a, there's a tang slot inside of this uh, tail stock to keep this from turning uh, when you're drilling something uh, real uh, heavy duty where sometimes the whole chuck starts spinning in there and then it galls the inside of the quill. Here's something that you should not do. Here's a number uh, 3 h chuck, number 2 shank on it. It is not a good practice to use a sleeve and then uh, do drilling with that because you're introducing error and inaccuracies into what you're doing. So that's a bad practice. Sometimes we do it in sheer desperation, but I would say avoid it. 
Now here's a big chuck and this is a Jacobs and it's a three quarter capacity so you can really hold big work or big drills in this and it's the ball bearing type. It says ball bearing right on there and uh, these are their uh, more expensive chuck and the beauty of these is since there is ball bearings uh, in there you can get an awful lot of uh, uh, pressure with your chuck key and you can really hold your uh, your drill tightly so that's the beauty of a ball bearing chuck and they come in the smaller sizes too and you will pay a premium for those. Uh, one other thing that you can do is uh, and uh, this may not be good practice either but here's a center 60 degree center with a straight shank on that and that can be held in a chuck sometimes just to get you by real quickly and instead of uh, a, uh, a regular dead center. Something I forgot to show you in the other lathe and this is the wrong size to fit in here but these are available with number three this happens to be a number two but uh, this number two sleeve has a center drill built right into it so you don't need a chuck. Since center drilling is one of our more common operations, that's something that uh, is, is handy to use sometimes. And finally here is the, I know you're getting sick of this one, but that's the armature chuck again with the brass jaws. And this one has a number three uh, shank on it. And uh, I, what I didn't show you, I think, in the last one is that when you tighten this around your shaft, be sure and oil it, and then you can lock this uh, down so that it doesn't change. Now the brass jaws are delicate, so if you get that hot, you can ruin it, and uh, you, you need to take good care of these, uh, and never more than snug. Do not tighten them down too tight, because then you got friction, and heat, and wear, and you'll ruin the jaws, and thusly ruin the chuck. Hope these little tips were helpful to some of you. If not, maybe it's a repeat for you old timers like me. Uh, this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.